but make sure the power is shut off if you attempt what I show you in this video. I have a dedicated switch that goes straight to the blower so I know that when this is turned off, there is no power going to the blower and that makes it safe to work on. You are looking at a 27 year old HVAC system. This is the blower that forces air through the vents. When I cut this switch on, you'll see the problem I'm having. You'll hear it actually. You hear that humming. But the squirrel cage is not turning. If I give it a little help with this wooden dowel, it tries to spin, but it just doesn't catch on. So normally, that's a sign of a bad capacitor, and that is what I have in this case. I've already figured it out. I've already swapped out that capacitor with this one that I had on hand because I'm kind of a pack rat and I save things. So I'm going to be able to fix it for free. To get that capacitor out, there are two screws holding it in. So I'm going to take this one off, the one that has the ground wire, and get that old capacitor out. And as soon as I get it loose, I'm going to discharge any power that may be stored in the capacitor. But I'll show you that in a second. Before I pull these wires off the top and touch those terminals, I'm going to take a screwdriver with an insulated handle, touch it across those terminals. That will discharge any electrical charge that may have been stored in the capacitor. So now I can safely touch them. Plug in the replacement that has the same specifications, same voltage and all that. Get that one plugged in. I'm going to show you that that was the problem. There we go. I'm going to get that capacitor bolted back in. All right, that's nice and tight. That's secure. I'll cut it on one more time. And we're fixed for free with that capacitor that I salvaged from a HVAC blower, squirrel cage blower that I found on the side of the road. All right, last thing is put the cover on and one end slides in, bump it in and then slide it back that way. If your squirrel cage isn't turning, if you're not getting air through your vents, yes, it may be the motor, could be the capacitor, could be your thermostat, could be the fan relay. I'll put a link to that video right up here in the corner in case you want to watch that. Just don't jump to the conclusion that it's the motor. Might be something else. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.